hepatitis it is an inflammation of uh, liver it can be due to viruses chemicals or alcoholic hepatitis it can be due to autoimmune diseases or it can be non alcoholic hep hepatitis so viral hepatitis viral hepatitis are five types of uh, viral hepatitis a b c d and e so uh, very first uh, and the and the viruses which are involved in causing these this viral hepatitis are cytomegalovirus herpes virus rubella virus epstein barr virus so uh, major uh, majorly the hepatitis a b c d and e are the uh, most common infection found in the people or popul normal population first hepatitis a it is a highly contagious liver infection which is caused by the hepatitis a virus and uh, it is a rna virus it can cause acute hepatitis with jaundice and also cause acute liver failure along with it it does not cause a long term infection and its incubation period is 3 uh, uh, with the, in is about 28 days it is transmitted primarily through the fecal oral route so the sources of infection for this hepatitis a virus is the crowded condition poor personal hygiene poor sanitation contaminated food water and uh, also the uh, 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 unhygienic uh, surroundings infected food handlers can also lead to the transmission of this virus it is most prevalent in the uh, developing or underdeveloped countries a, a signs and symptoms it includes fatigue fever abdominal pain nausea vomiting weight loss jaundice itching and uh, also the pain in the abdomen and uh, i it it shows i on diagnosis uh, it shows uh, igm antibodies and igg antibodies uh, in the uh, person and igm uh, shows acute infection while igg antibodies they show the previous infection or immunization management of hepatitis a there are no particular drug therapies uh, and rest bed rest to the patient hospitalization if required then small frequent feedings of a high calorie low fat diet proteins are restricted then vitamin k injection if prothrombin is prolonged time is prolonged and iv fluid and electrolyte replacement is given and anti emetic drugs are given Hep second is hepatitis b hepatitis b virus can cause acute or chronic infection if acute infection is there then it lasts for the 6 months if it is chronic infection it lasts for more than 6 months and uh, uh, and the mode of transmission for this hep b virus is uh, uh, either the parenteral route uh, or through the exposure to the blood or blood products it can be through perinatal transmission it can be uh, uh, through to, uh, tattoo or body piercing with contaminated needles then uh, contaminated uh, syringes contaminated uh, blood products homosexual men and uh, it's uh, it can occur at any it can affect any age at any age and uh, it's uh, it is the main cause for the for the cirrhosis and uh, uh, it is and the most common mode of transmission found is through the sexual contact or through the perinatal transmission that is from mother to the child and it is more infectious than hiv it includes signs and symptoms includes abdominal pain fever joint pain loss of appetite nausea vomiting fatigue jaundice and dark or dark urine and its diagnosis includes the blood test Uh, to check the levels of ast alt serum proteins prothrombin time etc and serological test to check the antibodies found or present at that time and then a liver uh, usg is done and for the trans uh, for the transient elastography and it can show the amount of the liver damaged due to the hepatitis b infection management its treatment of the acute hep b is indicated only in the patients with severe hepatitis and liver failure the, uh, uh, and uh, vitamin supplements are given and avoid alcohol for uh, chronic hepatitis uh, uh, the drugs such as tenofovir adenofovir are given interferon that is interferon uh, a is given or the if 
if the liver is affected at the large level or at um, at higher level then the liver transplant can be done then hepatitis c it is caused by the hepatitis c virus that is also an rna virus its incubation period is 14 to even 80 days and it is transmitted through the blood or blood protect products or it is transmitted through the unprotected sex and contaminated or unsterile needles it is found in iv drug users and uh, or renal dialysis patient also in the contaminated situations it can result in both acute or chronic illness and this hepatitis c is managed by pegylated interferon by an interferon which is given within 12 to 24 weeks of infection to reduce the development of chronic uh, hepatitis if chronic uh, hcv is there then then this pegylated interferon uh, then ribavirin or protease inhibitors are used for the treatment then uh, hepatitis e it is caused by hepatitis e virus which is also an rna virus uh, and it its transmission is through the fecal oral route and sources of infection is contaminated water poor sanitation and uh, unhygienic conditions around and it is more common in the adults and in pregnant females it can be severe or lethal it usually resolves it on its own within the 4 to 6 weeks and uh, the treatment mainly focuses on the supportive treatment or supportive care of the person or symptomatic treatment is given and uh, 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 there is no specific uh, drug treatment is given to the patient for the H hepatitis e virus and it is usually self limiting as it gets uh, uh, corrected on its own and uh, all the acute hepatitis they are co characterized by the anorexia no nausea vo vomiting constipation diarrhea then abdominal discomfort malaise fever light uh, light stools weight loss jaundice while the chronic hepatitis are mainly uh, uh, presented with the symptoms and signs like malaise or uh, easy fatigue fatigue hepatomegaly myalgias or elevated liver enzymes now the preventive measures for the hepatitis are uh, are mainly the hand washing proper personal hygiene good environmental conditions environmental sanitation control and screening of food handlers then active immunization of hepatitis a vaccine and hepatitis b vaccine is also available which is nowadays given through the immunization national immunization schedule and is taken uh, is given to the children and uh, also to avoid the unprotected uh, sexual uh, intercourse and uh, so that we can avoid the sexual uh, transmission of these viruses then for the healthcare personnel also it is very important to take the proper vaccination uh, to avoid the transmission during uh, handling of these patients of positive patients so uh, they are advised to take the vaccination properly and to uh, uh, and to uh, dispose the needles properly in the hospital settings and also use the infection control precautions